Most web pages today are full of sharing buttons that help promote content across the internet. Users are accustomed to seeing buttons for stumble upon Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus, and even Pinterest. But is there room for one more? Well, a company in Sweden hopes there is, and many publishers will likely agree after they learn more about it. The service is called Flatter and is the world's first micropayment system. It is designed to help people share not only content, but also money. And Linus Olsen, Flatter's CEO and co-founder, is joining us now by way of Skype to talk about this intriguing service. It's great to have you today, Linus. Thank you. Well, first of all, Flatter has been equated to an internet tip jar. Is this an accurate portrayal of the, of the service? It's rather accurate. I, I don't like the idea of call it tipping because tipping in some way um, demands that you have actually bought something first. Right. Uh, it's an extra, it's in something extra on top of something. Uh -huh. uh, but many people call it a tip jar. Uh, we call it social donations, social micro donations or social micro payments um, because you actually pay for content. You, you have got the content already, but you want to pay for it and you, and you do that. Hmm. So, so how does that work really in terms of, of distribution and integration? Uh, the integration is, is rather like a Facebook like button or a, a, tweet, a Twitter retweet button. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a snippet of code you put in your web page. Um, and distribution-wise, it's, it's based on a monthly budget, uh, meaning that you define how much you are willing to spend each month, and then you click buttons, and then we divide that monthly spend uh, equally towards everything you have, you have clicked. Um, so you don't need to uh, make the decision if, uh, what's this worth, uh, how much can I afford, etc., because you've already done that. So do, do publishers really uh, partner then with Flatter and go from there, or is it the consumers that, that request publishers to, to be partners, or how does, how does that aspect work? It works in both ways, actually. So either you're a, a, a producer of something and you want to place the Flatter button on your web, and you can do that, it's very easy, uh, or you can use our system to um, request producers to add the button to their site. Uh, it's also very common. Very interesting. Well, what makes Flatter a, a better alternative than to, to payment methods such as PayPal? Uh, PayPal is too tedious to do small donation. PayPal is a, is a system uh, based on, on buying stuff. Uh, normally a, a PayPal transaction is, is several dollars. Uh, that means that you have to have a, a high level of security, uh, you need shipping addresses and so on. Um, with a, a micropayment service needs to be instantaneous and one click uh, and a no-brainer to use, and that is not PayPal. But PayPal is very good for, for bigger donations or, or actually buying stuff. Right. Well, are there any um, conditions as to what type of partners can utilize the platform, or any stipulations or limitations? Uh, no, there are, are actually none. Uh, the only real thing is that you should obey the law, of course. Right. Um, yes. But we are, are agnostic to content and we can use it for music or software or podcasts or your knitting patterns or whatever. Hmm. Interesting. Well, where does the, the social element of, of Flatter come in? The social element uh, comes in into the service on the, on the web page itself. Uh, you can see who they have got money from, uh, everything they have produced. Uh, there's a Facebook timeline integration, of course. You can tweet it, share it. Uh, we are building um, personalized feeds. Uh, for users to uh, become even more social. Because donate, donations and, and voluntary payments towards uh, content on the web uh, should be as social as uh, the content itself. Right. And I actually understand that there was a new Explore feature just introduced last week. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the beginning of uh, our uh, bigger step towards more socialization, mm -hmm. uh, to more personalized uh, recommendations and feed systems and the, and the ability to follow um, certain either producers or, or even people who give money towards um, things you like. You might have friends or followers on, on Twitter that you uh, know has good taste and you want to know what, what they give, who they give money and you can see, in, see that yourself. Hmm. So, so then how does Flatter actually make money? We have we take a transaction fee on on the service itself. We handle money, so we can take a part of it. So okay. It's a very simple business model. 
It is. It is very, very interesting. Well, incidentally, at the London Web Summit earlier this week, Peter Sunday, which is Flatter's other co-founder, spoke about a, a cashless society and the harm that it could do as, as web and mobile payments become more prevalent. But, but isn't this somewhat contradictory to what Flatter does? Yeah, it could seem that way because you always dig, uh, leave digital traces. Uh, we think privacy is a very, very important one, and, and you can, of course, be anonymous both in, in receiving and, and giving money uh, via Flatter. Uh, that doesn't mean that you actually don't leave a digital trace. Of course, it's, it, you do leave a digital trace. It's just a question of us to handle it in a good way, and we think there's a huge problem with big corporations not handling that in a good way, uh, giving money to uh, other companies and, and organizations and governments, even though they really shouldn't do it. Hmm. Uh, and I, I think that's the, that's the reason for Peter saying that cash is important. I don't think he means that cash as a physical payment is important. He means that privacy uh, is important. Thank you for, for clarifying that. So do you foresee flatter buttons appearing next to social sharing buttons in the near future? Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's, that's kind of the goal. Mm -hmm. uh, the social sharing buttons have, have so far been only social sharing. Uh, they have gone into something a little bit besides social sharing when it comes to Pinterest, for example. You do maybe you do it more for yourself than for others. Uh, I think we can see these kind of sharing bars uh, serve uh, multiple purposes in the future. Mm -hmm. And simple one-click donations well, via, for example, Flatter or other systems is probably a big important part of that. And Flatter ha has been around since 2010. Um, so in this time period, how have consumers taken to this concept? They've taken it very well. Um, the idea of, of, of voluntary payment or donations toward content on the web is, is quite new. The idea of consuming first and paying later is also quite new. So it's, mm -hmm. it's a question of, of uh, getting people into a new mindset. Right, right. All right, well, it's fascinating. Thank you so much for, for talking with us and sharing this information with us, Linus. Thank you yourself. And if you would like to learn more about the micropayment system, visit flatter.com. I'm Abby Johnson reporting for WebPro News.